Spooky Stories is the latest Diary of Impicate book. Related Diary of Impicate books, sorry. By Jeff Kinney. Today, Tigger will be reviewing this book. This is the review of Spooky Stories by Tigger. Let's begin with the review with story number one. The first story is the changing. In this story, basically a boy grows a lot of hair and he thinks he's going through puberty and becoming a man, but actually his parents are werewolves. Yeah, really. And then his, and then he tries to encourage them to be themselves and they do. That's basically it. 4 out of 10. The second story is the prankster. In this story, there's just a big boy who's just pranking everybody. But then the whole town pranks him by making the, him think that he is dead. And then when he finds out he's not dead, he just is really humiliated, man. This is a really boring story. 5 out of 10. The third story is the ghost friend. In this, there are these two friends and one of the friends dies and then his ghost is his friend all the time and then his friend is really a bad friend like really this ghost is a really bad friend to him and then just uh, the boy um, decides to live with him forever and then the boy just lives a very bad life yeah that's a pretty bad story um, but I did find ironic enjoyment so 6 out of 10 the fourth story is the biter in this story there's a kid who bites a lot and then she becomes popular and they think she's a vampire she becomes popular and they find out she's not a vampire and they just fake that she is a vampire boring 3 out of 10 the fifth story is the human head in this story there's two body parts a head and a body they fall in love with the same girl they work together but then the girl chooses the head instead of the body and the body becomes the ghost of spooky hollow pretty good story yeah. 7 out of 10 story number six the scanner in this story there is a new scanning machine in the airport and the scanning machine turns everyone to skeletons their life is good at the start but then they want to turn humans again and when they turn humans again they're naked in the cold I think it's fine it's 6 out of 10 story number 7 the seller there's this boy who wants to check out what his dad does in the basement and when he turns 18 he finds out that they live in a in the modern world and they were just living in an old they were living like old people like olden time people like in the uh, like uh, 12th century yeah and then they give him a phone he's addicted 5 out of 10 story number 8 the nap in the story, some grandma lady dies, and the family thinks she's dead, and then they bury her, then she still survives, and then they, they treat her good again, thanks to this nephew, I guess, and then uh, she dies again in a summer vacation thingy. It was a fine story. 6 out of 10. Story number 9. The Stain. This is a really terrible story. It's basically shit. Like I don't know why. It's uh, it's just shit. Oh, you should do tell the truth. That's so stupid, man. That's so stupid. Two or one out of ten. I don't know. Story number ten. The mummy. This story was actually enjoyable. In this, there's a popular mummy, but he's angry. Uh, a very. They put him in the museum and he gets angry. Then he just lives a lonely life until a new mummy comes, which is much popular than him. And then the new mummy sues the older mummy. And then, uh, um, then uh, the new mummy starts becoming uh, bankrupt. And uh, the old mummy and uh, the new mummy start living together and best friends forever. Uh, 8 out of 10. Wait, wait, no, no, no. 7 out of 10. Story number 11 The Science Project. Ding, 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 ding. The first good story. 8 out of 10. 
I liked the relationship and I liked the twist ending. So basically the story is that this dude wants to win a science fair and then he makes a Frankenstein, they become good friends and then the owner dies and then Frankenstein becomes intelligent and then um, reincarnates his friend. Pretty good story, 8 out of 10. Story number 12, The Medicine Cabinet. There's this boy who just uses their mom and dad's medicine cabinet and then uh, turns into like a baby and his face only turns into a baby. Then he finds out his parents are pretty old and use this age type remover cream uh, to make themselves look younger. And then they, like the werewolf story, they just live together not caring about how they look. <sighs> 5 out of 10. Story number 13. <laughs> the Invasion. In this story, zombies come and this little town decide to become friends with the zombies and they become pretty good friends. And then aliens come and they think the same thing's gonna happen. So they welcome them just like the zombies and the, zo and the aliens kill everybody and they rule over the world. Blah, 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 blah. It was fine. 7 out of 10. The final story. Number 14. The Demon. In this, actually, Riley and Greg have a sleepover and Greg turns into a demon after watching a movie and saying some weird words. And Riley defeats the demon. The story is really just mediocre. 4 out of 10. Bye!